whether you own a small micro camper, whether you own a coach built, A class or RV, keeping the outside clean is a challenge and it's also a chore. But have a look at some of these products, some of which you may not have seen. Now, have you got radiators at home? Do you ever try and paint the back of the radiator? This is a cranked brush sold at decorators merchants and not in many other places. Yes, it does the radiators, but it's brilliant when it comes to reaching difficult parts when you're cleaning. And I learned that on a training course. Also, it's the kind of thing that you can reach up and clean the insides of the window frame when you've opened the window. And talking of windows, yes, I'm sure you've come across the good old chamois leather. It's, it's a job to beat it, really. But you can beat it because nowadays some of the imitation products are pretty well as good. And if you put them away wet, they're less likely to go rotted and smelly compared to the traditional chamois. Worth keeping. Also talking about windows, when you've washed them, well, you will have come across one of these blades. But they're straight. They don't go around corners. Have you seen these that are now on sale in various shops and are totally flexy? And they go around corners. Corners on the body of the van as well as things like the windows. Let's leave that one here. And still on the subject of windows, I know not long ago there were various cleaning products that you applied and then you removed them with kitchen paper. And I thought that was probably too abrasive, but no, that's what the valeting experts were using. Until what came along next, but we've now seen microfiber cloths in all sorts of places. And they're now the flavor of the month. Tip, I'm told by somebody you should never wash these in a washing machine. It damages their properties. Right, on the top. And that is your traditional sponge. Yes, but there are other types of sponges that you might like to look at. Back to those decorators merchants. Because decorators merchants sell this type of sponge for preparing the walls before they paint the emulsion. And although it isn't obvious to look at, I can assure you that this is much more abrasive without actually leading to damage on the body of a motorhome. And that's a similar version. And if there are tiny little bits of grit, well, they probably would fall between the mesh. Let's leave those in place. And so we come to the wheels, the nasty bit. Yes, you can get all sorts of brushes like this. Fine indeed, but often not quite stiff enough. Whereas this one here, is really very robust and it gets in the awkward places of the patterned wheel and these bits don't actually bend permanently like many bristles will. And that's another one with a particularly useful pointy bit for getting in the gaps. And so you've got it all nice and clean and I'm one of these people who occasionally applies the polish and I've always traditionally used an, an old t-shirt I went on valeting courses and they said, do not use old t-shirts. Why, I said, they feel soft. And I was taught that in the fabrics very often on a t-shirt is something called lint. I don't know what lint is, but I'm told it has abrasive properties. So what do the experts use? Well, they use this open weave cotton cloth. And I wouldn't have thought that that was particularly smooth and soft and so forth. But no, once again, as we said earlier when talking about sponges, this type here has very, very small holes all over because it's woven. And if there is a little bit of grit on the surface of the body, that little bit of grit can disappear into the holes as you apply the polish and get the shine. Now, this is something I'd strongly recommend. You've got to clean the roof, extending ladders to suit the height of your motorhome and they're not cheap but they're great. There's also the business of high pressure hoses. Very very good on patio slabs. I'm not so sure about using a high pressure hose on a motorhome if you haven't been properly trained. But what you must get is one of these. Get a good quality one and you'll find that you're using it so much that you might be using it in the wheel area and you don't want to use it in the wheel area that's why I bought a different one. Then you find, of course, that the actual bristles, the brush end itself, doesn't fit into your bucket. And the closing tip is this. 
pop along to your builders merchants ask if they've got any tanks about this size they go up into the loft normally and because of their rectangular shape the brush head goes in easily and it makes the whole process that much simple so with the benefit of this knowledge go out and enjoy cleaning your motorhome recognizing that also these things are not going to cause damage Well, that's it, the end of another show. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, and until then, don't forget to wave.